Here are some guidelines for the council and for the congregation. With resolutions that were adopted at the 2009 ELCA Churchwide Assembly, the ELCA moved to a policy that allowed congregations to choose to call as pastor or other rostered minister a person in a same-sex relationship. The bishop and other staff involved in the call process respect the faith, dignity, and diversity of each congregation and of pastors and pastoral candidates. So we ask whether or not the congregation will consider a nominee who is or may be in a same-sex relationship. With the guidance of the council, a congregation can be confident that a pastoral nominee will be accepted in their context. Nominees can be confident that they have been nominated to a congregation that wants to consider their gifts for ministry. Another issue is when a pastor retires or leaves a congregation for another call. When they do so, they discontinue the functions of the pastoral office within the congregation. Congregation members make and maintain caring relationships with former pastors and their families and may continue in friendship and social relationships. However, it is not appropriate for a former pastor to initiate or respond to matters related to the current pastor's service in the congregation, to policies, procedures, personnel decisions, worship styles, or mission priorities of the congregation. Congregational members also should not ask or expect a former pastor to perform pastoral acts like weddings, funerals, baptisms, home communions, or hospital visits. These are opportunities for the current pastor, whether the called pastor or an interim, to be the primary caregiver and to establish and build new pastoral relationships. If you have any questions about what is appropriate interaction or activity with a former pastor, please contact the bishop or one of the assistants to the bishop.